Tirreno Adriatico is the first European stage race this season for a selection of cycling's royalty. Rubbing shoulders with the established hierarchy is a team from Africa, MTN Quebeca. Their first time racing at this level, indeed they're the first African team to start a World Tour race. And it's not just another team, but a team with a social cause. The big goal um, of the team is to mobilize the African continent on bikes, especially the kids. They can earn the bikes for growing trees or dividing rubbish, um, collecting bottles and, and these things. Fifteen riders, two-thirds of the team is African and we have six Europeans uh, which bringing in um, experience and also young challenging boys. Generously supported by South African telecoms giant MTN, the Quebec Foundation and a host of major cycling manufacturers, the aim is to evolve to bigger races on the calendar and move up to the big league. It definitely gives the guys back home you know, the, the drive to want to grow as cyclists because you know, they see that it's being done by that many South Africans and Africans. Uh, the level of professional racing in South Africa is definitely picking up, you know, with, uh, especially with us as MTN Quebec coming out to Europe. You know, all the other guys see this and they, they start to realise that it's actually a possibility that, uh, you know, from South Africa you can actually race with the world's best and get a chance to do this. As the team's experience grows, it hopes to appear on the biggest stage of all, the Tour de France, by 2015. One step at a time, but MTN Quebec's unique background has already attracted plenty of supporters. So the followers that we have, for example, Facebook, Twitter, is uh, bigger than a couple of Pro Tour teams. So our team has also a lot of stories to tell. It's the background where most of our riders coming from. And this background is sometimes very poor. And coming from countries where they have civil war and yeah, now riders changing the room together. And before they were yeah, like, like soldiers in an army or, or part of their family died in a war. Stories which capture the imagination, but what stories can the team write with their exploits on the road this year?